Hi everyone and thanks for joining me for another um, very quick tutorial. Um, this is going to be like a two part because I'm going to show you how to make this booklet. Um, so the bare bones of it and then um, I'll do a craft with me um, decorating it. So these two booklets are the same concept, they're just different sizes. So I'll give you the sizes later. So let me show you. Um, this little booklet it is so super cute. Um, it has the front cover and then I have made a little pocket here um, on the front. And then you turn it over and you have a little pocket here, um, which I've put some things in. And you have another little pocket here, um, which has some things. And then you have these two little um, flip pockets, which have these pull out tags um there and then whoops on here i have put two envelopes the other booklet is different because um i don't have any small envelopes and i didn't make any so these um give you a little bit of extra space and they've got a little thing um in each one so there's a piece of ephemera in each one charles I cannot do this with you on the table. Um, so there are two envelopes and they've both got something in, but this one is slightly different, which I'll show you. Then I've used um, some ephemera to make another pocket there, which has a tag. And then you have this big pocket, big deep pocket at the back here. Now, I didn't design this. Um, I watched someone do this a long time ago um, and it's just something I wanted to share with you because I wanted to make some so I thought I'll show you how you do them then it's, they're just decorated on the back this one is near enough the same it has a little pocket on the front there um, then it has the little pocket there and a pocket there and it has these two um, here with tags in but here I've just decorated this side because I didn't have our small small envelopes we've got another little tuck spot there and then we've got the big one at the back so I'll give you um, the sizes for both as we go along but we're going to make this big one today so um, what you're going to need Charles what you're going to need is a sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock and then I've just cut it in half this is Tim Holt's paper so you end up with a 6 by 12 two 6 by 12 pieces now what you then need to do is to bring in your um scoreboard oh my gosh can you hear him being a terror so you're going to bring in your scoreboard and we're just going to score both pieces at Oops, four and eight and you need to do this on both pieces so four and eight like so and then we bring these two pieces back and we're going to just fold them like so and don't forget if you've got directional paper to keep them both facing the right way so the first thing you're going to do um now let me just make sure how i've got this so they're going to be the pockets so if there's a bit that you want really want to see um you need it facing up this one on the top okay so what you're going to do is take what would be called the bottom piece and we're going to turn this around and I have some um, double sided, the red really sticky one and it's only like a quarter of an inch, I think it is, not a quarter of an inch, an eighth of an inch. Um, it's very skinny and what we're going to do, oh you can use glue obviously for this step. Um, for this one I'm just going to use, I'm just going to pull some tape off and then where this fold line is on the bottom you need to put your red tape or your glue just underneath that um, score line. So to try and line this up, it's very hard to see. It's 
I get the first bit. Oh my gosh. Started off like so. Right, I'm just going to put that down. Take that off. Right, okay, so you've got that just under the score line on the bottom piece. And then you need to take this off. Oh, gosh, try not to take the sticky tape off with it as well. I got them in the end. Oops, now it's all stuck. Let me get off. Right. And then you're going to take your top piece and where the bottom bit folds, we are just going to glue that down. Make sure that if it's directional that you've got it facing the right way. And we're just going to stick that down to that and that will fold over like that. So you have the bottom piece um, glued down like that. Okay, so this is what you should have. Both pieces on top of each other like that. And then this bottom half is just stuck down. Now what we're going to do is flip this over. Bring in your scoreboard. And then at three, oops, we do that. Um, you need to score at three inches down to that first um score line which is about there so you're doing three and you're only going down to that first score line so you've scored from three down to the first score line and then you won't need your scoreboard again after that and what you need to do now these are so fast now it's very hard to sort of see your score line but what you want to do oh, it's very hard to see it is to cut up that score line and cut up to um, that up to that score line there. So you're just going to cut up to that score line. And what I do is just take out a little slither out of that centerpiece makes it a bit easier so that's what you end up with okay now what you need to do then is turn it around and I have a one inch hole punch and what I'm going to do let me just make sure I have this the right way round so that's going to be like that eventually um, so move these out of the way. So what we're going to do, sorry, don't get your one inch punch just yet. So you've got it like this. Now you need to pull this over like that and move these out of the way. And then we're going to make this pocket here, which is your big tag pocket. Now you might find that you might need to trim a little bit off here just so that it folds. Mine is absolutely fine. Now taking your one inch punch you're just going to make a little thumb thumb hole half a thumb hole um so that you can see the pocket and what i do at this point is just bring in my distress ink and we're just going to distress that and you can go all the way around if you want to Right, okay, so let's just, so you've got your flat bits like that and you're going to fold this one over like that and what you now need to do is you need to glue down here and here, inside here, so we need to glue down here. Right, you are annoying me, little man. Oh. Right, so we're going to take our glue. And what we're going to do, where that folds over, we need to glue down this, down here, straight down and across to there. And then we're going to fold that over 
and glue that down and then that's that big pocket at the back made okay so you've now got the back pocket and you've got these ones here now what i'm going to do is we're going to now deal with these pockets so i take the front piece because obviously you've got the two pieces take the front piece and make a hole thumb hole there and do the same bit with this one here i'm going to make a thumb hole there as well and then we're just going to take the distressing and just distress that thumb hole like that and then what you need to do is you need to take your glue and we need to glue down here and here and down here and down here and that makes the two little pockets so we're just going to glue down here like so hold that down and then we're going to do the same on this one here like that um i've been meaning to this project for so long these are just super cool to make and slip in a journal or just to have by themselves so you've now got the back pocket made you've now got the two little pockets made and then what we're going to do is we're going to make um this other pocket over here so you've got it like that now what you need to do is fold it over and then you're just going to bring this over to about half the way across. So all you're doing is taking this end bit and folding that over like that. Okay, so then that gives you... Now if you want to distress, do it now because you won't be able to do it otherwise. So if you're going to distress, then do it before you glue it down. Right. So what we're going to do now is we are going to glue down here and here and then down these two little bits here. So I'm just going to get some glue. Now on the little one I did actually sew it um, but the reason I sewed it was because obviously you don't have as much space um for tags otherwise if you're gluing i'll show you what i mean in a minute i've actually put way too much glue um so let's glue that down but you see because this is bigger you've got a lot more space for a pocket but when um this little one is so dinky that when you do the little tags here when you glue you lose quite i find that you lose quite a lot of space but that's just me so i have actually gone and sewn um down here and here and down these little pockets here and down here and here but if you haven't got a sewing machine glue is fine so we're just going to fold that over and just put some glue on these little bits there and then fold that over and glue it down now basically that is your little pocket um vintage pocket little folder that's actually it made look how quick that is look so that there it is you've got your pocket there your pocket there you've got two little pockets there and you've got another pocket there so i'm going to um save this for a craft with me and we can decorate up and i'll show you how we make more pockets etc now the size for this little one it is nine by four and a half okay nine by four and a half and whereas this one is six by 12 and then you score at four and eight on this one you do nine by four and a half and you score at three and six and then when you do the um, bit down here, it is two and two eighths I score down um, there. And then that's all you need to know, really. 
so this one is nine you do cut two pieces nine by four and a half and you score on the length long ways at three and six and then when you turn it around you score at two and two eighths down here and with this one you cut two pieces so you cut a 12 by 12 in half which is six by 12 and you score at four and eight and when you turn it around um, you score at three and go down to the thing so I hope that made sense so these are the little booklets and what I'll do is I'll come and do another video um, with a little craft with me where we can have some fun decorating it and making more pockets um, here and I think I made another pocket here and here so and also i'll show you the little envelopes as well um so i hope you've enjoyed this very quick tutorial i'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials um i love doing quick and easy projects i don't like doing long-winded projects i'm terrible i like to do quick things and this is just super fast and you can either have it by itself as a little happy mail um thing or you could put that in a journal in a pocket and then you've got all these lovely little hidey holes and places for gorgeous ephemera and you can decorate this up even more um, if you want to as well but i love the tim holtz paper so i think that it just looks pretty cool by itself so thank you for watching please like and subscribe i'd love to know what you're thinking of this what you think of these new videos um, and i shall see you all very soon take care bye bye